Wingly Streamer presents Philosophy in Literature. It is well known that English literature is an interdisciplinary subject and that philosophy is all encompassing. It molds the thought process of entire generations at times and its influence on literature is ubiquitous. Today we will be discussing some philosophical perspectives and novels that feature these philosophical perspectives in their narrative. The first existentialism it is defined by oxford dictionary as a philosophical theory or approach which emphasizes the existence of the individual person as a free and responsible agent determining their own development through acts of the will existentialism emerged as a prominent philosophical school of thought in the 1930s and 1940s in the face of the world wars happening the philosophers belonging to this school explored the question of the value of human existence and the complete freedom of will that they believed humans had which according to them led to an anxiety of existence in a lawless world albert camus fyodor dostoevsky franz kafka and jean paul sartre were prominent writers who incorporated existentialist questions into their works camus the plague and the myth of sisyphus Sartre's Nausea, Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground, and Crime and Punishment, and Kafka's Metamorphosis can be considered existential novels based on the characteristics that we just discussed. Additionally, Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar and J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye can also be considered existentialist novels. The second, Absurdism. defined as the belief that human beings exist in a purposeless chaotic universe absurdism in literature employs satire dark humor and some measure of phenomenology to express the futility of searching for meaning in the world as the belief of absurdists is that the world is incomprehensible to us sounds kind of similar to existentialism that's because absurdism is a predecessor of existentialism It emerged in the 1800s with philosophers such as Immanuel Kant, Søren Kierkegaard, and later Albert Camus propounding it. Several of the existentialist works, such as those of Sartre, Kafka, and Camus, for example, are also absurdist in nature. Additionally, George Orwell's Animal Farm in 1984, Hunter S. Thompson's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and Herman Hesse's Steppenwolf are also absurdist works. third nihilism this is the belief that nothing in the world has real existence people often get existentialism and nihilism confused especially due to the term existential crisis but they're quite different to put it simply nihilism holds a belief that life is meaningless while existentialism simply asserts that the meaning of life is not determined in any way nihilism rejects knowledge wisdom and morality as possessing no value This work is widely recognized as a nihilistic work. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. His other work, Choke, is also nihilistic. Some more works include Flowers of Evil by Charles Baudelaire, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, and The Stranger by Albert Camus. This is getting kind of depressing, so let's move to Epicurean hedonism. Now, there's hedonism and there's Epicurean hedonism. Hedonism is the belief that pleasure is the highest goal of life and that one should live for pleasure. However, Epicureanism or Epicurean hedonism aims for more sublime pleasures, ones which are pleasing to the mind or the wisdom and which are free from the anxi- which make man free from the anxiety of death and other unpredictable variables. Henry James is one of the most well-known writers whose works are widely recognized as Epicurean in nature. The Europeans and the portrait of a lady for example feature pleasure seeking lifestyles and at times decisions by characters that go against the societal norms in order to secure their happiness The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde On the Road by Jack Kerouac and The Great Gatsby by F Scott Fitzgerald are some other epicurean novels Thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed it